For years, it was one of the most secretive military projects on the entire planet. But now, all of a sudden, China's most advanced fighter jet, the J-20 Mighty Dragon, is stepping out of the shadows. So let's pull back the curtain and figure out what's really going on here. And that really brings us to the big question, right? After nearly 15 years of being super secretive about this thing, why is China all of a sudden putting its top-tier stealth fighter out there for the whole world to see? I mean, what changed? So, what's sparking all this talk? Well, it's a pretty surprising announcement from China's Ministry of Defense. For the first time ever, a J-20 is going to be on static display at an air show in Changchun. And look, this isn't just another flyby. We're talking about people being able to walk right up to this thing, this once hidden technological marvel. To really get why this is such a huge deal, you have to rewind the clock. See, the J-20 story has always been about more than just technology. From its very first flight, this jet was designed to send a message. A pretty loud one at that. And the timing of that first message was, well, it was just incredible. On January 11, 2011, the J-20 takes its very first test flight. And on that exact same day, U.S. Defense Secretary Robert Gates is landing in Beijing for some really high-stakes talks, trying to smooth over some pretty rough military relations. A coincidence? Yeah, nobody was buying that. As former State Department analyst Blaine Porter put it pretty bluntly, the timing of the flight was a poke in the eye. That unannounced flight was seen by pretty much everyone as a deliberate, kind of aggressive political signal. Okay, so if the jet's secret debut was a poke in the eye, what message is this new public spectacle sending? You know, why the sudden change of heart? Why all the openness after all these years? Well, when you dig into it, it really seems to boil down to three big things. First, the program is just mature now. Second, the secrecy is basically pointless. And third, China is ready to project a whole new level of confidence. Let's break those down. First up, program maturation. The J-20 isn't some rare experimental prototype anymore. Not at all. By the end of last year, there were at least 200 of these jets in service. It's become a real workhorse for the Chinese Air Force, just rolling off the assembly line. And the second reason? Well, the cat's out of the bag. The secrecy is obsolete. The J-20 has been flying out of bases near foreign borders, like the one with India. And here's the crucial part. It has been painted by other countries' radar systems plenty of times. That means its core stealth features, like its radar signature, aren't the big secret they used to be. So, we've got a handle on why China's showing off the J-20. But what exactly are they showing off? Let's take a look at the key tech inside this mighty dragon. One of the most fascinating developments is this new version, the J-20S. Now, what's interesting here is that the U.S. never built a two-seat version of its top stealth fighters, the F-22 or the F-35. But the J-20S has a pilot up front and a dedicated weapon system operator, or WSO, in the back. And this is where you really see the strategy. The pilot can just focus on flying the plane. Meanwhile, the WSO is handling all the incredibly complex stuff of modern air combat. We're talking advanced targeting, electronic warfare, even commanding unmanned drones to go out and do strikes. Splitting up those jobs could be a real game changer in a chaotic fight. Another massive evolution has been happening under the hood. The engine. The J-20 actually started out with Russian-made engines, then it switched to a sort of interim Chinese model. But the real breakthrough was in June 2023, when it flew with its purpose-built, powerful Chinese WS-15 engine. For China, mastering its own advanced jet engine, that is a huge step towards total technological independence. Alright, so let's zoom out from the nuts and bolts for a second. What does the J-20 and this newfound openness really tell us about China's bigger military strategy? Well, it looks like they are taking a page directly from the superpower playbook. Think about it. The U.S. Air Force has used this high-low mix for a long time. You've got the elite F-22 Raptor for air superiority, backed up by the more versatile, numerous F-35s. Well, look at what China is doing. They are openly copying that exact strategy. The J-20 is their high-tier F-22 equivalent, and their upcoming J-35 is designed to be that lower-tier workhorse. And that's the real takeaway here. This isn't just about building one cool airplane. This is about building an entire ecosystem of air power. It's about replicating the very doctrine that has defined American air dominance for decades. It is a massive statement of ambition. So here's the final thought. The question that really hangs over all of this. 
China is clearly copying the technology and the strategy of a global superpower. But the big question is, how well have they actually pulled it off? Answering that is going to define the future of global air power for a long, long time to come.